Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome to Loose News VR. This is the first episode of Loose News VR and I got a little tip for you. Uh, if you recently bought Oculus Rift, you probably know you open your Oculus Rift and you say, let's just say it, in my case it is that I have a Windows 7 and I didn't upgrade to Windows 10 for obvious reasons. Uh, now I got this Oculus Touch and Oculus Rift uh, recently and uh, I just sat down and there's this uh, little program called uh, Video, right? Where you can watch all your movies on the big or huge screen in your virtual reality. So, uh, I was like, okay, that's that's all nice and dandy, but how can I watch my movies on this thing, which I already have, right? That was the question, and even more, I was asking myself, can I watch a 3D movie on it? That would be great. And can I watch a 360 movie on that if I... I don't know if I get any and it turns out there's a solution there's a trick so I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen uh, first when you try to uh, watch some of your movies so the most of your 2d movies um, are simple you just turn this thing on and uh, you put on your helmet and you watch uh, the 2D movie but if a movie is in 3D you're gonna get a picture which is side by side and you can't really watch it because you're gonna have two separate images uh, on this huge virtual screen in your movie theater now first of all how to uh, play those movies so I find out that if you go to a folder where you installed all the software which is in my case the hard drive D but the folder is oculus software oculus oculus video you're gonna come across a file that is called video settings okay you open that file and you're gonna see something like this now you got uh, you're gonna find something like this movie dear which stands for directory and then the number is five it is I, I believe uh, those you can assign about ten of those uh, movie dear five and in in the middle you can actually type U folder uh, which you have your own movies you can have a movie from vacation or whatever and you want to watch it in a big huge you know movie theater but you have to do it somehow so let's say this movie is in the folder I don't know C movies okay so you go with the C and then double slash movies right and you're gonna save that now this folder if it exists it will be assigned with all the subfolders in there so everything what is in this folder and in the subfolders will be recognized as movies now what if this movie is a 3d movie you're gonna get a picture like i said side by side two separate images and yeah you can't watch this so this trick what i find out is you go and you change the name of the movie if you change the name of the movie uh, let's say you're gonna have uh, a movie called 
my vacation just do I'm not gonna save this right now because I have my uh, folders assigned but you go and you change the name of the file let's just imagine for now okay that this is a movie and uh, we're gonna just change the file to let's say my clip and this is important underscore 3d if you name your clip with this underscore 3d this side by side movie the side by side clip will be automatically recognized by this software and it will play in 3d it will also show a little icon next to this movie which will say it is 3d and the same thing with 360 all you have to do is change your name of the clip to 360 so now I'm going to show you something very very quickly I don't know if if this is going to be okay but um, we're going to start this All right. so as I said I've changed this this file this uh, video setting file I assigned uh, one uh, folder with all my subfolders and now when I put this thing on okay you see I'm in this program right now and just go to my videos uh, uh, just a second I need to okay and then I click my videos my whole whole library is here you see I got tons of movies and I can watch them all now like I said those this movie for instance I will play this this is a 3d movie oh, I'll pick the that one and uh, y you're gonna see there's two images I didn't change the name so it's not really in 3d I can't watch it right now because it uh, is side by side but if I would change the name that will automatically give me 3d and it will happen the same with 360 so uh, let's just stop this right now okay uh, as you can see I have to those 2d movies no problem okay and I can watch it no problem whatsoever so uh, yeah that's my tip and trick for for today if you didn't know about this uh, you can you can try it out all you need to do is get some movies in 360 and then uh, change the name uh, on your hard drive with underscore 360 at the end put it in your folder assign this folder to to this software and you can watch everything everything in 360 and everything in 3d so whatever you want this is it for this time I wish you all the best and don't forget to subscribe like this video if you liked it disliked it if you if you didn't like it uh, what else I'll see you next time bye bye